Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for watching. In today's video, I put 11 of my favorite fall buffalo check DIYs. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the notification bell button so you can get notified every time I upload. With that being said, now let's craft. For my first DIY, I'm going to use one of these little houses that Dollar Tree is carrying right now. I know they have like three different size, but I'm using the more wider one. I started off by removing the back piece of the house, so like that I can paint the border of the house. I removed the rest of the paper from the back piece because when I took it apart it kind of ripped so I just took everything off like always I will be using my Waverly antique wax to paint the frame I know you're probably guys are tired of me using it but I swear it is like my favorite color I love it the next thing I will be doing is I will be tracing the house to this paper that I got from Hobby Lobby and I ended up tracing it in the middle. That is because I wanted to use the border for my next DIY like that. I can only use one paper on all my DIYs or at least for this video. By the way, I got this paper when they were four for a dollar. Um, I'm not sure if they still have the four for a dollar at Hobby Lobby, but you should definitely go check it out because they have so many different beautiful papers and I think for a for dollar is such a great price for these. Since I removed the paper, I couldn't remove it completely. So that's why I'm sending it down using these Dollar Tree scent sheets. I mean, you can use the back, but if I use the front, the back will be looking nice and yeah. And the next thing I will be doing is gluing the paper using my Elmer's glue stick. To glue the border piece back, I will be using some hot glue. And look how cute this house is turning out. You can pretty much add anything inside, but I will be adding this pumpkin. And to the pumpkin, I will be transferring the word home. And both of these are from Dollar Tree, the pumpkin and the transferable stickers. I will not be painting the pumpkin. I wanted to leave it that natural wood color and like that, I found it easier for these transferable stickers to work. I have tried to transfer them like on paint and it's like a lot harder and I have so much trouble doing it. And I just love how it looks on this wood. Look how cute this looks. I wanted to add some fall leaves to this, but I wanted them to be green. So I will be using these eucalyptus leaves and I'm going to draw a leaf or a fall leaf on there and then cut it. And this is how the first one looks. I did make a smaller one so I can put it on the other side. Then I'm going to glue him using the hot glue. And on top of that, I will be adding a juice string bow just to cover that little hole that the pumpkin has. And look how adorable this looks. You can put it on the corner. I will be adding this in the center. And as you can see, I added a tiny bit of glue just like that, if I want to reuse this house all year round, I can carefully remove the pumpkin.
for my next DIY, I'm going to be transforming this pumpkin that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to start off by removing everything, the bow, the leaf, and the string. When I first started doing this pumpkin, I wanted to make the border using the buffalo check paper. And as you can see, I'm still using the same sheet I used in my first DIY, but I ended up messing up and I had to change plans. As you can see, I did remove it. I had already glued it down and everything, but like I said, things change. <laughs> so I'm still using the same sheet but I'm only using it on the top and the bottom since it cannot go around the whole pumpkin because I do not have enough. For the center, I will be using some burlap that I already had, but I want to show you that you can make it work with the one that Dollar Tree carries. These pieces of paper are the scrap pieces that I had cut off when I first traced the pumpkin before I messed up so I'm just going to fix them and make it more of the shape of the pumpkin and also make them thinner so when I put the burlap you won't see much of the buffalo check underneath Once I am done fixing them, I'm going to glue them using the Elmer's glue stick. And I'm going to glue the piece of burlap in the middle using hot glue. I will be reusing the word hello and I got this a while back from Dollar Tree. All I did was paint it white. For the word fall, I'm using the Dollar Tree wood letters and as always, I didn't have an A. So I made one using a V and all I did was put it upside down and add a Dollar Tree leaf to it. To finish this off, I will be adding this beautiful bow I made out of the Dollar Tree burlap ribbon and some Hobby Lobby ribbon. I also added some eucalyptus greenery on each side and look how beautiful this looks. I didn't glue them, I just tied them all together. And the last thing I will be doing is adding some Waverly Antique Wax to the letters just to make them look more rustic and like that it's going to cover where I accidentally broke the hello in half. For my next DIY, I will be using this beautiful vase. I was so excited when I seen it. I grabbed it because there was only one and in the color pink. I know that they carry like a blue and a white. I really wanted to find the white one, but since I didn't, I am going to paint this using my Waverly chalk paint in white. I then went ahead and used some Waverly Antique Wax and I only added them to the lines. I added a little bit of paint first with the paintbrush and then with my finger I just went down. And look how pretty this looks, it almost looks like a small little pumpkin. The next thing I will be doing is adding a piece of burlap. I will be making a double bow and I'm using the Dollar Tree burlap and some Hobby Lobby Buffalo Check ribbon.
And because I didn't use a string long enough, I added another one. That is because I didn't want to glue the bow. I just wanted to tie it around the vase like that. If I want to use the vase for Christmas, I can. And that is it for this DIY. All I did was added the greenery on my choice, which was several different pieces that I already had. I will be using this beautiful pumpkin that I got from Dollar Tree. I am also using this paper that I got from Hobby Lobby when they were four for a dollar, but they are 69 cents. I'm going to start off by removing the tag and the bow. I couldn't remove the glue, so I did use my blow dryer and it was so much easier to remove it. I swear Dollar Tree is stepping up. They are carrying the most beautiful things this year. I love it. I recommend you to send the rest of the glue. I didn't do that and you'll see at the end. I did end up fixing it though. To trace the inside of the pumpkin, I will be putting the paper on top and start pressing it. And like that, it is going to crease and it's gonna be easier for me to cut it. I will be repeating the process in all three shapes. Before I glue the papers, I will be painting the pumpkin using the Waverly Antique Wax. And I did give this a light coat. I also went over it with a damp paper so like that it is light. I wanted this to be light, not dark. The only place I didn't go light on was on the stem. I actually gave this two coats so like that it can be darker than the rest of the pumpkin. Now that it's nice and dry, I will be gluing the paper to my pumpkin using my Elmer's glue stick. I was asked why don't I use Mod Podge instead. Well, there is two reasons. Reason number one is I ran out. Reason number two, I really don't like how Mod Podge makes some stuff look. It looks shiny um, and the paper, especially paper, if you don't know how to apply it, it will get wrinkly. And that's me. I do not know how to apply it. So I rather use the glue stick. I then added a juicing bow in the hole. I thought by adding the bow, it was going to cover that spot of glue that looked weird and it didn't. So that's why I decided to send it down and then paint over it and like that it's gonna look a lot smoother i also decided to sand the edges of the paper like that it blends in better and it made it look so much better i did end up switching bows and i made one using the dollar tree burlap ribbon and some buffalo check ribbon i got from hobby lobby i also decided to add some greenery and to do that i will be using a piece of this stick and then adding two stems of the eucalyptus on each side
I then went ahead and tie him to the back of the bow and when I was done doing that I had some string left over and I put it back through that little hole and then made a knot in the back so like that it can stay in place. And that is it for this pumpkin. I absolutely love how this turned out. You can hang it on your wall or you can just put it on a table with some decor on the side. I will be using this wild at heart sign that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm using the back of it so I am removing the sticker and I did have to use my blow dryer because it was kind of like really really stuck to it. And then I just used some Waverly antique wax to distress the edges and make this more rustic and old. I then dry painted the rest of the sign. While this is drying, I'm going to work on this thankful sign. I was so happy when I finally found these. I was like, yes, and these are so nice for them being just a dollar at Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to paint only the front using the antique wax. I didn't want this to be too dark, so I did paint half of it first. And before it dried, I used a damp paper to remove some of the paint and this made it lighter. I'm gluing the thankful sign to the long piece, but I want my thankful to be higher because I do want to add some greenery in the front. And to make this higher, I will be using eight Jenga block pieces. I'm going to glue four on each side, but I'm going to stack them up. For the florals, I will be using four different kinds. Three are from Dollar Tree and one is from Walmart. So I will be cutting one or two stems of each floral so like that I can make my own pick. I'm going to start off by cutting this wheat and I'm only cutting two stems off. I am then removing two leaves out of this floral pick and adding them to the little small picks I am doing. By the way, you can use the picks that are already made, like the ones I recently hauled from Walmart. I actually am saving those for another DIY that I have planned. That's why I am making my own. The next floral I will be using is this eucalyptus that I got from Walmart. And I am cutting two stems off and removing some leaves. And the next thing I will be adding is some of these berries and I'm only removing a little bit. I am not even cutting a stem off. I am just like taking some off. With a piece of juice string, I'm going to tie them together in the middle. I then found a spot for the berries and used hot glue to glue them. Another thing I was so happy to find on Dollar Tree was this ribbon. I was so excited when I found this and I will be making a bow using this buffalo check ribbon. I will be doing a double bow, so I'm using some of the Dollar Tree burlap ribbon. To tie them in the middle, I will be using a piece of juice string 
and I did use a long piece of shoestring because I want some of it to be left over when I tie this together so I can tie the picks behind them. To make this more into fall, I am adding some of these small little pumpkins that I got from Dollar Tree. These already have like a wire, so all I did was wrap it around a stem and I did one on each side. I will be adding this in front of the thankful sign, but I didn't want to glue it. I wanted this thankful sign to be used all year round. So I decided to use some Velcro and I am gluing a little piece in front and then want to the back of my floral and like that. I can just stick it in there and I can remove it and just switch it to a different greenery. I did end up removing the burlap bow. I just wanted the buffalo check bow to show more. And that is it for this beautiful decor piece. I absolutely love how it turned out. It looks so high end and it was so easy and inexpensive to make. I will be using this spring Dollar Tree decor sign but you can pretty much use any signs that Dollar Tree carries for the center part here I'm showing you that you can use one of the crafter square I only have this oval I know Dollar Tree carries the squares and I wanted to use a square that's why I will be using this wooden square this is from Christmas I got this from I believe Dollar General after Christmas so it was like 25 cents and that is what I'm gonna use I am using my ruler to measure this so like that I can cut my sign and to cut the sign I will be using my hand saw I find it easier by using this I mean you can use some scissors if you have some good scissors I will not be throwing away this other piece of the sign because I will be using it in my next DIY. The next thing I will be using is this buffalo check paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. They are 69 cents but you can get them at 4 for a dollar when they are on sale. The next thing I will be doing is tracing the smaller square in the middle like that. I can save that piece of paper and use it for something else. Once I am done cutting it, I am going to use my glue to glue this to the sign. I couldn't find my glue stick, so I'm just using regular glue. Before I glue the square, I will be painting this using my Waverly chalk paint in white. Once that is dry, I'm going to distress all the edges using my Waverly Antique Wax. I will be using this cute little pumpkin that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to paint this using my Waverly chalk paint and celery.
For the words Farm Fresh, I will be using these rub-on transfer stickers that I got from Dollar Tree. To make sure the letters are nice and straight and brown, I will be using this oval wood thing that I got from Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to start transferring the words. I will be doing one by one. Just make sure you center them right before you start to transfer them. You will see that I did it at the end. Mine are too much to my left, but I still managed to make this work. I then went ahead and added the pumpkin in the center. I did have this little bow and I'm going to add it right there. Um, I did this off camera, but what I did is I just added some lines to the pumpkin to make it look more like a pumpkin. To add the word pumpkins, I will be using these Dollar Tree stickers. The last thing I added was a leaf in the corner. Right here, I'm showing a pumpkin. And that is it for this DIY. I absolutely love how this Farm Fresh pumpkin sign turned out. I will be using the leftover decor piece and the leftover paper. I'm going to start off by cutting the paper to the size of the sign. Then glue it to the decor. The next thing I will be using is this Happy Fall sign. I removed this from one of the long Dollar Tree decor signs. I used it in one of my previous DIYs. I am also using these small little cute leaves. These come from Dollar Tree as well. Before I glue everything, I'm going to send this because it has some glitter. And look how beautiful this turned out once I sent it. It made it look so rustic and old. When I had first started to do this little sign, I wasn't planning to do nothing else, but then I seen this little cute sign that my friend Fanny sent over to me, so I decided to use this. I'm going to paint it using my Waverly chalk paint in white, and I didn't paint the front bottom because I will be adding the happy fall. Using my Waverly Antique Wax, I will be distressing the sign just to make it look more rustic and old. Now I'm going to glue the Happy Fall in the front using hot glue. With the same Dollar Tree stickers, I'm going to put hay rides and pumpkin patch. I also added this arrow sticker that I had in the middle. And the last thing I will be adding is this Rifa right there in the little space that it has. And that is it for this little cute hay rides and pumpkin patch sign.
from Dollar Tree, I will be using two of these Welcome Fall Decor signs. I am also using the Harvest Metal sign. This comes in the little pack. And this beautiful calendar. I finally found this and I was so glad when I found this. I am also using this other thankful, grateful, and blessed sign. For this DIY, I will be using the back of this sign. So I am going to remove the tags. And for the calendar, oh my gosh, look how cute this calendar is. I am going to use the month of November. It has this beautiful pumpkin. I've seen Crafts by Canyon recently do a DIY using this calendar and I just fell in love with that DIY she made. Using my Elmer's glue stick, I will be gluing this paper to the back of this sign. I just love how this Elmer's glue stick works over the Mod Podge. I feel like I can't use the Mod Podge. I'm always leaving some bubbles and not only that, it leaves it shiny. So I just like using my Elmer's glue stick. I recently seen Nicole from the Weeksness use this as a frame and I loved it. I thought it was such a great idea what she did. So I decided to use this idea. I know Crafts by Kaylin used some paint sticks, but I love, love how this Buffalo Check little decor signs look. So I will be using these instead. It was so easy to take these apart. And I am using my box cutter just to make sure it is a nice straight line. And I'm going to do that to both of the signs. Um, when I try to remove it, as you can see, the paper kind of wanted to fall off. But I did glue it back. And this is how they look. The next thing I will be doing is gluing them to my sign. I started by gluing one at the top and one at the bottom using hot glue. For the other size, you can glue them on top of the other ones, but I decided to cut mine so they can fit nice and straight instead of them overlapping. And this is how it looks. When I tried to put the harvest on top of the pumpkin, it was way too light and it kind of blended in. So I am going to make this darker using the Waverly chalk paint and elephant. I'm going to distress it and then I also removed one of the leaves from one of the pumpkins and I'm going to do the same thing just to stress it with the same elephant color. And once both of these are dry, I'm going to add a little bit of the antique wax to them. I tried to sand the edges off because it did have a little bit of the green and there were some parts I couldn't really take off, so I am going to distress this using the Waverly chalk paint and elephant. I'm going to add the harvest in the middle. And the leaf to the stem. I did have this reef up bow with this ribbon already. So I am going to add that because it totally matches. And that is it for this sign. I absolutely love how this turned out. 
this was so easy and so inexpensive to make and that is it for this inspired diy challenge don't forget to go check out the playlist and the co-host and the host so thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and see you next time bye why i will be using the metal signs that dollar tree is carrying right now as well as these decor long signs and another sign this is actually from the summer i ended up changing it to one from easter because it was a little bit wider the first thing i will be doing is removing the tags using my waverly chalk paint in white i will be giving this sign one coat of paint I will be making some faux wood planks and I'm using this decor sign and a brown marker. Using a stipple paintbrush and the Waverly Antique Wax, I'm going to distress all the edges and dry paint the rest of the sign to look more rustic and old. I will be using the harvest metal sign out of this Dollar Tree pack and I'm tracing it instead of gluing this metal sign. That is because I only grab one pack and like that if I want to use this harvest sign in a different DIY I can. I mix burnt umber and jet black to paint the word harvest. I'm going to put this to the side and work on the little basket and for the basket I'm using these two decor signs these are from Dollar Tree these were actually sent to me by my beautiful friend Fanny by Creations by Fabi I will be removing the hooks and adding them to one one on each side like that it's easier for me to glue the other one on top Once they were added together, you can still see some white and that is because they didn't put the paper right on these signs and I did love the wood color it had. So I'm going to try to um, recreate it and I will be using the Waverly chalk paint in hazelnut to paint the bottom and then on the sides I did give it a light coat. I let that dry and then I use the Waverly Antique Wax to dry paint this and like that it's going to almost give it the exact same look it had before. I didn't want to waste the mixture I made because I did have some left over so I am adding it to this. I am distressing the edges and dry painting it a little bit.
once everything's nice and dry i will be putting this together and i'm only using hot glue since i am not adding anything heavy The next thing I will be doing is adding these beautiful picks I got from Walmart. They were 97 cents each. Of course, you can add the greenery of your choice. And because I am not gluing these inside the basket, I did have to remove the pumpkins in order for them to stay nice and straight. I made a bow using the Dollar Tree burlap and some Hobby Lobby ribbon and look how pretty this looks. I am going to glue it. I then drilled two holes so like that I can add some nautical rope and I can hang my sign. And that is it for this beautiful harvest decor sign. I love it. It matches the rest of my decor. And it looks so high end. And it was so easy and inexpensive to make. I will be using this Easter truck I got back in Easter. I decided to use that instead of the wooden one that I recently got from Dollar Tree. So you can use either one. The first thing I will be doing is removing the tags and I'm removing this happy Easter sign that it has at the bottom. The next thing I will be using is this buffalo check paper that I had. This is an extra piece that I used in one of my previous videos. This is from Hobby Lobby. I will be flipping the paper and the truck over so like that I can start tracing it. And I'm going to start by tracing the front of the truck first. Then I'm going to start to cut it out. I then put the paper on top and I kind of measure where the truck started and that is how I cut the back trunk. As you can see, the paper wasn't long enough to fit the whole truck. With an extra piece of paper, I will be doing the rest of the truck. So I'm putting it underneath and trace it and then cut it. The next thing I will be doing is drawing the tires and then cutting them out. Before I glue the paper, I do want to trim the eggs and I'm using my saw for this. I will be using my Elmer's glue stick to glue the paper. I wanted to cover the glitter that the tire has as well as the pink. So I did end up painting everything with my black acrylic paint. I am painting the back using the English Ivy Green. To add the details of the truck, I had to go back to my video and screenshot the picture of the truck so like that I can have it in front of me and I can add the details. 
I am drawing the lines with a pencil first and then I will go over them using my Waverly chalk paint in white. To decorate my truck, I will be using the little cute sunflowers that Dollar Tree is carrying. They have two different sizes. I will be using the small ones and I'm going to glue one on each tire. For the back, I will be gluing some random leaves that I had and I did remove the back so they can lay flat. I am also using these leaves. These come from a Michaels floral pick. They are like spikes or something like that. I did cut them in half so like that I can have more and I can just glue them here and there. Once I am done gluing everything, I will be gluing the bigger sunflowers inside the leaves. I then added some smaller ones. After adding the smaller ones, I felt like it needed something else. So I decided to add some berries and I just glued those here and there as well. The next thing I will be adding is this chalkboard tag that I got from Dollar Tree. I will be gluing it in the center. And to cover the hole, I will be adding a shoestring bow. I am using this paint marker that I got from Dollar Tree to write sunflowers and five cents. And you can leave it like that and just add some shoestring and hang it on your wall. But I decided to make a little stand for this and I'm going to use this incest stick holder that I got from Dollar Tree. It is normally a dollar but I got it on sale for 25 cents. In order for the truck to stand I am using two Jenga blocks and I am gluing one on each tire like that it can hold better. And that is it for this cute sunflower truck. I absolutely love how this turned out. It is actually my favorite one. DIY, I will be using this Dollar Tree pumpkin. I'm going to be using some leftover scrap paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. The Buffalo check one. I used this in one of my previous videos and I had this leftover. I'm going to start off by removing the stand, the sunflower and the bow. I will be using the front of this little pumpkin. Next, I will be placing the pumpkin on top of the paper and tracing over it. And as you can see, it doesn't fit, but I am going to make it work. I will be using them little pieces that I cut off.
I'm going to glue the papers using regular glue. I started by gluing the big piece first and then I glued the smaller ones. Once they were dry, I did trim them down. And voila, you can't even tell I added some little extra pieces. For the stem, I did add a piece of popsicle stick that I already had. I took some nautical rope apart because I will be gluing it to the pumpkin. By adding that nautical rope, it is going to help it look more like a pumpkin. The last thing I will be doing is adding it to the stem and adding these little leaves to the stem in this little cute drawstring bow. And that is it for this last DIY. This wasn't inspired by anything, I just wanted to make something that matched the rest of my decor. and that is it guys i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite because i would love to know so thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and until next time bye